Hello, welcome back everybody. Hopefully everybody is healthy. Uh, section 5.4 is going to introduce us to polynomials and uh, we're also going to begin to add and subtract these constructs. First of all, let's define some polynomials. Uh, monomials we've already looked at a couple days ago. Monomials are just one term variable or algebraic expressions and an example of a monomial would be 7x squared y and the degree of this monomial is the sum of the degrees of the variables, so 2 plus 1. Two plus one is three. This is a third degree monomial. Another example of a monomial would be uh, negative five. Negative five is just a constant monomial. Its degree would be zero. And another example of a monomial would be three x squared y cubed, uh, the degree of which would be two plus three or a fifth degree. Those are some monomials. Now let's look at some binomials. Binomials are two-term variable or algebraic expressions. And terms are separated by additions or subtraction. An example of a binomial would be 2x plus 7. Now the degree of a binomial is equal to the highest agreed term. So this term here is of the first degree. The second term of this binomial is of the zero degree, since it's a constant term. So the degree of this entire binomial would be first degree. Another example of a binomial, 3x squared plus 5x. The first term of which is of the second degree, and the second term is of the first degree. So the degree of this entire binomial would be a second degree binomial. One more, 4x squared y minus 5z squared. The first term of this binomial is of degree three. Second term is of degree 2. So the degree of this entire binomial would be a third degree binomial. So those are some examples of binomials. All right, let's look at some trinomials. Trinomials are three-term variable or algebraic expressions. Here's an example of a trinomial. There's three terms. Terms, again, are always separated by additions or subtractions. The degree of a trinomial is equal to the highest degree term. The first term is of the second degree. The second term is a first degree term, and the last term being a constant term is of degree zero. So the degree of this entire trinomial would be of the second degree. Another one, 5x cubed plus 2x minus 1. Uh, this is a trinomial, the first term of which is of the third degree. Second term is a first degree term, and the last term being a constant is of degree zero. So the degree of this trinomial would be a third degree trinomial. <coughs> All of these constructs I've shown you so far uh, in this video are belong to the family known as polynomials. So all monomials, binomials, and trinomials are polynomials. And really there is no limit as to how many terms a polynomial could have. One more note here, notice that for these trinomials here, the degree of each term decreases from left to right. So for this trinomial, we go from a second degree term down to a first degree term, down to a zeroth degree term. When the degree of terms of a polynomial decrease strictly from left to right, we say the polynomial is in descending order. 
And so this trinomial, we say, is written in descending order. This trinomial is also in descending order, since we go from a third degree term down to a first degree term down to a zeroth degree term. Normally, we like our polynomials written in descending order. It is a custom in mathematics to do so. Now, suppose we have this polynomial here. Notice this polynomial has one, two, three, four, five terms in it, uh, and it is not written. It is not written in descending order, as the degree of each term does not decrease strictly from left to right. As we go from a fourth degree term up to a fifth degree term, down to a third degree term, down to a first degree term, but then up to a second degree term, and then down to a zeroth degree term. It is always legal to rearrange terms in a, in a polynomial to write it in descending order. The only thing you have to be careful with is to bring the sign in front of the term along with the term when you rearranged it. So to write this in descending order, we would put the fifth degree term first, since it's the highest degree term. And then the next highest degree term would be the fourth degree term, 5x to the fourth. Then the third degree term, 3x cubed. The second degree term, minus 2x squared. The first degree term, plus 10x and then the constant term which is a zero degree plus five at the end. This would be a fifth degree polynomial since that's the highest degree term of the polynomial. So that concludes the introduction uh, to polynomials and a little bit of, of um, terminology uh, that surrounds them. <clears throat> now if you click on the next video we'll show you how to add and subtract polynomials.